What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake, baby. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. And we, where we left off, we left off in the end of that chapter, of the singing chapter. <laughs> Alan Wake, the musical. Okay. Literally left us here. That's weird. Oh. So basically, we're gonna change back to uh, Sega. So I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Uh, I have three days off, so it's pretty cool. I have Monday off from work. I'll take it. I'll take the advantage. Hold on. I think that's still cool that you can do that. But yeah, I'll take the advantage and uh, record for you guys. That's a good deer. Cool beans. I like that little stuff, uh, the stuff one up there. Anyway, so before we keep, um, keep going, let me save here. Before we keep going, let us check our, our mind space or whatever. We got a couple of cases stuff. Lunch boxes. Comfortable parking. Um, is that that? Is that in watery? Yes. Okay. The story for later. So we can't we can't do nothing about those yet. The trail of the cult. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it. Okay. Would that unlock these? No. Radio, television. I think we're good so far. And we can't really do nothing with our shotgun, nothing with our pistol, the bow. Eh, I don't know if I want to deal with the bow. Is it worth it? You guys let me know in the comments below. Let's get out of here. Have a nice evening. Uh, okay. Rude. Hold on, just checking the map. So, what are we supposed to be doing again? <laughs> Option, I investigate the previously flooded area. I thought I did. It's alright, let's go back to Bright Falls. If anything, I can kind of always come back here, hopefully. Ooh. Girl already took out her shotgun. Huh. I hear something. That sounds like the uh Where is it? Where is it again? Where am I? There's the rental cabins. Is this it right here? That uh that FBS station? Or oh, the buzzard? Let's check over here real quick. Can we climb this? No. Where this takes us again? Huh. 
Take the car back to Bright Falls. Wait, hold up. I thought it was in Bright Falls. Didn't I click Bright Falls? Kind of confused. Oh, I guess I didn't. My bad. Alan Wake. My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. It's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <laughs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the writer! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! What are you doing? Scratch! He's close! Stay down! Wait! I need a gun! No chance! FBI! No chance. What the hell happened? Hold it, freeze! 
I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Dude, what the hell happened in here? I gotta get out of here. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. I need to protect myself. A gun and a flashlight. How nostalgic. Chibikaye, we just got that trophy. <laughs> Chibikaye, motherfucker. That's Casey. He was still alive. Can I just rolling the streets? Can I just try him that way? No. Jeez, dude. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Where did the dark presence not discriminate? Just takes it like a champ. The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer, stronger than ever. Why I'm grabbing this stuff and not reloading? The pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming. Fuck. Federal Bureau of Control. I'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. I should be... 
go home. Careful moving weight. They think he's a para utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Dude. What? <clears throat> and Estevez? Oh, we got a trophy saying we watch in the night. They know who what it, what's going on with him. Okay, hold on. I gotta say I gotta pause this real quick. So Estevez, that actress, if I'm not mistaken, she's the same main character for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Like the story mode. Uh the, the female um uh, character, I, I'm telling you, that's her. It has to be her. She looks so familiar. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. And I'm what off the, the case, but I can still visit family. And what the heck they said about Alan that he is is a what? They know something. So what's the goals here? Uh, talk to the Anderson. Go to the Valhalla nursing home in Bright Falls Woods. There. Oh, it's through here. Okay. Hello. Saga, it's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, you can hear the wolves. Okay, because we're safe in here. We can check our mind space or whatever. The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon couple of others the old men rocked like their namesakes the backstage parties got out of hand there was thick with smoke wheeler squinted his migraine flared booze and drugs a rock and roll cliche they ran off after every gig wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties nice after party Oh, we can switch realities again. Um, no, let's stay with let's stay with Saga for now. Ah. Is it only one or two? Hurry up, what the heck are you doing? Okay, hell no. Get out of here.
There's another one. Shut up. Do I feel bad? Eh. They're trying to kill me anyways. We're just carrying Bahala. Whoa. Hold on. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Uh -huh. <clears throat> just then a sunny slam into something that felt like a sturdy well built brick wall. I almost fell, but a strong arm grabbed my uh grabbed me by the wrist. I hardly knew that was happening. A voice reached through the confused front haze like a stretched hand and groove man voice, the deep returning voice reassuring me. Don't you worry, miss. I've got this. I looked up <laughs> just in time to see the monster burning through the forest uh, at us. Da, 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 da. Cool. Thanks. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to grab those. Thank you for the funny story. I appreciate it. Making sure we're going to the right spot. Nursing home. Uh, please, no more wolves. I hate, I hate trying to shoot the wolves, man. They, they, I don't know what it is. They're a little bit more difficult than just the normal bad guys. This game is so weird. It just changes, like, the weather, everything that looks every time you go somewhere else. Torrin Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Huh. Okay. So before I go in there, let's explore around a little bit. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Any special um, lunch boxes over here? I guess not. No letters, manuscripts. I guess that is the interest there. Wait, this is the nursing home? Wellness Center. Gotcha. Manuscript, okay. Yo, my dog is snoring again, man. That's crazy, bro. He got fed real good. He got food coma. He played a lot. He went through a lot today. <laughs> and he's, he sleeps like he paid bills, man. Like, he worked a 9 to 5. Okay, nothing crazy so far. I just want to check this side over here before we go inside um, the nursing home. Can you get in through here? Can't open this with my bare hands. Screwdriver? No. But there is a way to open it. You just gotta find it. Gotcha. Or an Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Wait, what's going on right now? Okay. I wonder how many launch boxes are in this game. Can I still do this? No. 
Nah. That made no sense. Okay, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Thanks, Saga. Okay. Nothing else. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up. Only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the Wait a page. minute. This is the Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip flop to be their farewell tour. Cut short. It's not this. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. All right. So let's finally go inside uh, the nursing home and see what the... Uh... What the gods will say. The old gods. Waiting late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the. Oh, Saga. What's up? Wait a minute. Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh no, I was just. You know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry. They had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um, sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Are we going to here somewhere? Need to find them. Okay, before I do that, there's a bunch of stuff. I want to definitely talk to them, Bo. Give me one second here. Uh, if you guys want to read this, uh, I think Alan already kind of read this to us. But if you want to read it, you can pause it right here and then uh, pause it right here. Cool. 
Why? Why just bullets in there? Look, I see one of those uh things. Yeah, you know I used to make some of these, and um, oh my goodness, I think in fifth grade, they were so fun too. Why all this random stuff are in and here? And another lunchbox. Aha. You are strong. You are successful. You are confident. Thank you. Make me feel very welcome. Thank you. And we get a map of the nursing home. Awesome. The old... <laughs> the old cardboard. Ooh. Bunch of stories of Alan. Uh, if you guys want to read it, definitely, again, pause it. Pause it right here. Okay. Okay. And there you go. So much of Alan Wake stuff is in here. Need a little bit of light, man, because I can't see shit. Oh. Hello, Yako. Looks like another perfect morning in paradise. I agree, Ilmo. A perfect morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey. What? What's that sound? Oh. <gasps> Ain't no way. Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. I love how they go all out for these. Those are my favorite. So far in this game is my favorite thing to watch. Ooh. Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. Pretty cool, pretty coolies. Man. This nursing home has everything. Bro, if you guys play this game, you gotta search the whole Nursey home because this is nuts right now. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He would never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! 
<laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Okay, so I think we got some profiling to do. Excuse me, hello. No, not really. So straight to the keys board then? It looks like it. All right. So we know she's the one doing those little designs. Hmm. Okay, okay. Nothing crazy so far. I thought Artie put on a wonderful performance this afternoon. But you're always calling him a crazy. Artie, this is I your respect home. the you art, Norman. I take that mug away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy ring. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. <laughs> oh, you lad, I know. <laughs> This guy's everywhere, dude. He's a janitor in every place. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. Oh, sorry. So we might find a way to grab a key card or an ID or something to go through there. Dude, like this place has so many stuff. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm definitely going through the whole thing. Oh, a safe station too. Let's go. Thank you. A shoe box. Pat. Very old. The I shouldn't interrupt him. government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what oh, else. Oh, Ever Pat, since I seen the bunker, the radio it's guy. been a hot spot for teens. So this the is his place. The motel and spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe, they go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes. All right, Pat. Electronics. Don't worry about me. Need to find the key. So I wonder where we can find that key. This is Tor's room. Ooh. Hmm. 
more moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. I thought somebody was standing there. I almost freaked out. Donna? Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Is Sorry. That right? <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Oh, it's good for your health, so. <laughs> My bad. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like mom. Huh. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? It's pretty hard to uh to know if it was true or not, you know? Okay, if you guys want to read that, you can. Pause it right here. Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? Whoa. He's in no shape to talk. <clears throat> you guys saw that? are our twilight years there's darkness in the water we have our little tricks and so do you what's happening it's never felt this way before you're all grown up saga dearest and you're back just in time the forces of darkness are eating away at us we're too old and weak you have the power in you like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Oh, things are getting difficult now. I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy, but we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years, but we already have our band, and those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Torn Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our connection. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. 
Was this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. Things are getting crispy. And we got 17. Um, increase with all speed. The increased damage to enemies that are stunned, blinded, or knocked down. I wish we can put like more bullets. I know it's a, a double barrel, but shit. Kind of need it. Um... What can I do? What do you guys think I should do? The increase the reload speed. That's what I wanted last time, right? Yeah, I pretty... In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> cool. Now that we know what's going on and who, how we're going to help. And we we passed the wellness center. So we're definitely going to see if we can go in there. It looks like we still need to find uh, like an ID or something to kind of break into the other areas. And, uh, and see what happens. So I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, it helps the channel uh, a lot. Uh, uh, please uh, consider uh, sharing or, or just commenting on the video or hitting the like if you like my commentary. Uh, and this helped you during the day of the weekend. So thank you so much for spending time with me. This is Mr. Sasquatch. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.